my grandchildren, I'll tell you, my, my daughter-in-law and my son, they are not very much for what the kids slide on anything, okay? If something is, is wrong and the teacher doesn't count it wrong, they're at the school going, what are you doing? You fail him on this like you're supposed to, and he can retake it. Mm -hmm. But don't you let him slide. He's not allowed to sneeze crooked. Right. Now, my daughter, my, my uh, granddaughter, wants to go to a military, one of the military academies. Smart. She's five years old. Mm -hmm. She has every intention of going. She already has herself on an exercise regiment, mind you. Huh. That's five. Because you have to be strong to be an army girl. Right. That's what she calls it. Because at five, she doesn't understand that there's different branches. All she knows is green camo and push-ups. Right. <laughs> and she wants to fly a plane. I say let her. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Her mom's not too keen on it, but she'll get over it. <laughs> what, mom, what, her, your, your mom, your, your daughter's not happy for your grand, your daughter's... My daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law. She actually kept my son from going in. Yeah. She's not into the military at all. Really? <laughs> Man, that's ridiculous. Well, she, you know, she's, a, she's afraid. If you go into the military, you die. That's yeah. all it is in her brain. And my son tried to tell her, listen, when your time comes, you're going to trip over the sidewalk, fall on your nose, and die. Right. Okay? But if it's not your time, you'll take a bullet in the chest and survive. Yeah. Your time has nothing to do with that. So the thing is, um... The thing is that we have to prepare our children for later, and we're not doing it. 